Welcome to another COG Sports Card Submittal video, guys. I'm Snake. Rusty Nuts here. And we're going to send in our Holy Grail card, pretty much, that we pulled live on the live stream last Sunday evening. And hopefully we'll get, we don't know, we're going to send this in. Well, let's talk about what it is first. <laughs> uh, 80, 86 Jordan Rookie. Yes. Yeah, so, wow. Got a little fuzz right there. Amazing. Amazing card. But, Can't believe that we got it. It's centered so well. Uh, so, yeah, so we pulled this from a Universal Treasure Box. Yep. And uh, just amazing pull for us. It was so exciting. So, we're going to send it to where? SGC. <laughs> <laughs> we debated for a while. We're yeah. just going to go ahead and send it to SGC and see what we can get. Um, we really just hope they grade it, right? Yeah. Hopefully there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Hopefully uh, it's not. We, they don't we it. checked it out real good. and I Yeah, mean, I mean, it, it's a, definitely a real card, we think. We just you can't ever tell if they're going to say it's been trimmed or not yeah. for some reason. They, they've they sent us back a few cards that were... Yeah, hopefully they so. don't on this one. <laughs> but, man, it is really nice, isn't it? Uh, uh, the yeah. only blemish is just right there, a little bit of white showing on that edge. Other than that, you want Corners are nice. Yeah, I showed them the back and everything. It centering is amazing. Um, so uh, we're going to send this and get it. Uh, what we send a one or two day turnaround on. Yep. We're going to do a quick turnaround. We're going to do overnight shipping and everything. Yep. <laughs> so Try to get. We'll back. get this back quick. And uh, what are you thinking? I'm gonna I'm gonna say a seven and hoping for better. Yeah, that's pretty much. I mean, we're we're just hoping for a seven. Yeah. Uh, or better. It just depends. I mean, the centering and everything, uh, SGC's real tough on that. It just depends on what they do about yep. that little nick there. You yep. can see it. So, wish us luck. And we'll be right back right now and show you the grade we got or open the box. Either one. Yep. See All you right. in a sec. See you. Okay, guys. We're back with the Jordan rookie card. Uh, it was shipped back to us from SGC. and But we have a little news. Yep. Uh, we've sort of been contacted and in contact with some people, so we'll open this up and show you uh, what's going on and talk about um, what we're doing and what we're, what we're doing, what we're going to try to do, and all that stuff. So, what's going on with it? Hold your breath. Yes. They shipped it uh, overnight back to us, and it got um, completed very quickly. All right, here you go. So let's see what it is. It's tuxedo time. Let's see. That's the back of it yep. there. Can you get in it? Well, they got Cut it. it. They got it wrapped up good. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, no. Is there no paper? Hey, no, it's in here. Oh, okay. Right here it is. All right, good. Okay. All right, flip that thing over. Ta da! Ta da! Uh, awful news, of course. And it, and it is the original because there's that little teeny nick up there. So we know it is the actual card. Yep, it's the actual card, and it got an authentic. And uh, they yeah, came so back. Let's put this where you can't see our address, I guess. And right there it is. It says trimmed. Okay, so. That's where we are right now. Uh, we might not post this video immediately because no. we've got some uh, we've got some discussions going on. Um, we've been in contact with Time Machine, yep. right? and they're working with us, and we're going to get back in touch with uh, SGC and figure out why they slabbed it because we didn't want them to slab it if they were going to give it a authentic. Right. <laughs> so we've got some work to do. Um, we've got a uh, local buddy that's he's. Yep pretty good on on jordan's especially yeah um, so we're gonna get with him and talk with him let him look at it and see if he thinks we possibly ought to send it to psa kind of go by what he says and uh time machine's been great uh i'm gonna get back in contact with them yeah so. and <laughs> they're not don't act like they're gonna leave us hanging but uh, the story continues though, yes right exactly so we'll see where this goes it might turn into a saga uh, we're disappointed right now, but we've got some. Uh, but is it? It is authentic, Jordan. It is authentic. <laughs> That's right. So it's worth more than that box is worth. Uh, just like that, we know yeah. that. Um, 
But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll see what Time Machine says. We'll see. We'll see what our local expert says, and we'll see uh, what SGC says. Probably coming yep. up soon. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll w- wish us luck. Wish us luck. We will be sure to include everyone in uh, the the story that goes along with this card and where it ends up. So it it may it'll delay this video coming out a little bit. Yeah. But so we'll, <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of it. All right. Well, stay tuned until next time. See you in a bit. See ya. Hey everybody, we're back again, and we got another update on the Jordan rookie card, the '86 Fleer, and we're going to give an update, I guess, of where we are and what we're doing. So, yeah, we contacted uh, Time Machine, told them what had happened, that it had been uh, graded authentic, but it, uh, SGC had said it had been uh, trimmed. So they contacted Universal Treasures. And they got with them, and they said that the three Jordan rookies that were put in this 2022 and this right were the original ones that they bought were either PSA, SGC, or graded by Beckett. Yeah, so one of the three. So they that's these these three rookies here, right? Yep. So they watched our Universal Treasures watched our video, and they determined, which it was pretty easy to determine which one it was so they sent us the information it was a, a uh, yeah so so time machine's been really good to deal oh, with yes yes and we've been impressed with their service and then they contacted universal universal treasures directly and, and universal treasures got back to us so uh once they determined which card it was they actually sent us pictures of the card while it was slabbed right, right. And we, we know because that card had a little slight ding on the top. Can't see on here, but, uh, you know. Right in about, yeah. yeah, about three quarters of the way the ding, it was just the edge had a little fray, like a little white spot. And they determined which one it was, yeah. which we agree with once we've seen the pictures. Yeah. So, so you want to go ahead and show? Yeah, so, yeah. so there it is. Uh, there's our card that we found in a Beckett slab. For, with a 5.5. <laughs> So it, it, it graded a 5.5. Here's a good shot of the label. So um, the surface got a 4.5, and we found out, or you did, right? Yeah. Why? I'm going to explain that real it quick. It had a, so. a slight crease. Where was it? Up really, here? Yeah. It was about where the ball is. Right in here? Yeah. That came down a little bit. And we really didn't notice it. We were so excited. I didn't see it. And I didn't see it, but someone we took it to pointed it out to us. Yeah. We'll get into that here in a minute. But that's why the surface got a 4.5. But you can see, other than that, it would have been an eight and a half. Yeah, because it, it's a nice looking card. Very nice. And with that little ding, you can see it in the blue right there. Yes, that, yeah, right there. The yeah, you want to point at it, but they're not going to see it. <laughs> yeah, they can't see it, it, can they? <laughs> but uh, that that's what determined they knew which one it was, and uh, we I totally agree. Yeah, that's definitely the card that we pulled. Right. So time machine's been great. Yeah, in contact with us about this, and uh, so yeah, you. I think Time Machine said that um, Universal Treasures would never put in a card they thought obviously they thought had been trimmed. They would never do anything underhanded like that. Um, so that's why they're all of the. They said all of the Jordan cars that they put in here from '86 to '88 have actually been graded and slabbed by PSA, SGC, or Beckett. Right. I think it's kind of crazy that they pop them out of the slab to repack them. I think maybe that would be our advice is just put them in there. Yeah. From now on, don't take them out of the slab because... But it'd be so obvious in those boxes that you're what you're getting, I would think, you'd be able to fill it. But Yeah, but you get what you get. Right. I, I don't know, uh, but uh, we're still super happy to have this card. Absolutely. SGC has seemed to me, since we've been using them, pretty trigger happy on just saying trimmed or altered and it put an A on it. I've seen several of our cards and several other cards come back. I think they're a little bit gun shy, maybe. Well, uh, another thing, I this is going to be, I'm, I'm going to catch Snake off guard here, but i just seen SGC had a problem uh, grading some fake Pokemons. Did you see that no. here in the last couple of days? So maybe they're gun shy. So that might be it too, that if they see any kind of issue, they might back off from yeah. it. So, so I, I wonder if there's something when 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 Universal Treasures repacks them. Do you think it maybe puts a little pressure on the edges, and SGC thinks that might be a trim? I I don't know. It it could be. Anyway, 
so that's where we're at. Um, uh, so then we, we love the car. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, what do we do? It is an authentic Jordan it, rookie. It's a real absolutely. authentic Jordan rookie that should have graded a five and a half at least from SGC. So uh, where are we at now? Uh, you want uh, you want to go ahead and talk about taking it to? Yeah, yeah, sure. We took it up to a local car dealer that we know real good, and he deals with a lot of Jordan rookies. He's big in into that. He knows we trust his judgment. Uh, so he looked at it. He said SGC could have made a mistake. Uh, he's dealt with them a long time. He's dealt with PSA a long time. So he was going to take it for us, and he's taking it out of the holder. And he's sending it off to PSA for us because yeah. we're not in with PSA. We're not set up with them or anything. Yeah. So we're going to see. Hopefully PSA will grade <laughs> it and we'll be sitting pretty. Yes. Uh, but it's going to be another week or so. Exactly. It's going to be about two weeks. And we're putting a lot of trust in our uh, local guy to get it out of that slab correctly and not damage it. But at least, I mean, that's really a, the only thing we can do at this point. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to send it to PSA, and then we will show you the grade when it gets back. But that's the status of where it is right now. Uh, I, I'm I'm happy to find out that it was a graded card from Beckett. I think Beckett's probably the most consistent and well respected of all of them. Well, I I talked to uh, Time Machine, and they he this we had already done this with PSA, and he recommended, well, why not just go ahead and send it back to Beckett? Oh yeah, and. We had already sent it to PSA, and we really didn't even think about that, uh, or didn't talk about it. So that's true. I guess that will be our last resort now. If it comes back from PSA, uh, they say it's trimmed, and we'll send it back to Beckett. We'll send them these pictures. We'll talk to Time Machine and, and, and Universal and see if we can work out a deal where they just put the they review it, put the label back on it, and slab it again. Yeah, maybe. But hopefully, good things from PSA. We yeah. hope. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Uh, keep keep. Uh, Keep your fingers crossed. Yes. And the stay, saga continues. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We might be it. I mean, PSA might give it a seven. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's fun, and we're happy to have it, and we'll see what happens. So, Wish us luck, y'all. Yep. Appreciate it. So uh, make sure you like this video for us and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Till next time, I'm Snake. I'm Rusty Nuts. See y'all. Later.